Today, we take cameras for granted, being able to take a picture with a simple click of a button whenever and wherever we please. However, this hasn't always been the case. Let's do a quick run-through of the history of the camera and how we got to where we are today. The modern camera has a long and storied history. The concept of capturing images dates back to the ancient Greeks, who created pinhole cameras by using a small hole to project an inverted image onto a surface. The first true camera, the Camera Obscura, was created in the 1600s and used a box to focus and capture an inverted image. Fun fact, historians theorize that cavemen may have used a storytelling technique similar to the Camera Obscura when creating their cave paintings. It seems as far as mankind has existed, we've had a need to document events through imagery. In the 1800s, the invention of photography as we know it today was made possible by advancements in chemistry and the creation of daguerreotype, the first commercially successful form of photography. So who took the first ever photograph? Keep watching because that info is coming up next. By using a camera that he designed himself, Joseph Nisiphor Niepce is responsible for taking the first photograph known to humanity. Now, we don't have the actual photo because the paper it was photographed on darkened so much over time that the actual picture is lost forever. However, this little hiccup didn't stop Joseph from continuing to dabble with photography. Niepce continued his work by experimenting with a process known as heliography. In this method, a glass or metal plate was coated with a light-sensitive asphalt substance. The plate was then exposed to light, causing the asphalt to harden in proportion to its exposure. By washing the plate with lavender oil, only the hardened areas would remain, resulting in a photograph. Unlike his first attempt, this photo is still viewable to this day the oldest surviving snapshot in history. This photograph, referred to as View from the Window at La Grasse, was taken between 1826 and 1827 and shows a partial courtyard and some buildings viewed from the window of Niepce's family home in the countryside. With the introduction of roll film in the late 1800s, cameras became more portable and easier to use, leading to a boom in amateur photography. In the mid-1900s, the advent of the 35mm film and the Single Lens Reflex, or SLR camera, made photography more accessible to a wider audience. So much so that in 1948, Polaroid hit the scene, making photography all that much more accessible. The Model 20 Swinger became one of the best-selling cameras ever. Instant photography was a major innovation, and its aesthetic continues to be popular today. You'd be hard-pressed to find a photography app that doesn't have a filter available that gives your modern photos this vintage look that the Polaroid popularized. The introduction of digital photography in the late 20th century revolutionized the industry, allowing for instant image playback and editing. This happened in 1969 when two AT&T Bell Labs employees, Smith and Boyle, faced the risk of losing funding. To avoid this, they came up with the plans for the CCD sensor, now widely used in cameras in just an hour. This invention marked the beginning of digital photography and had a significant impact on the field. The evolution of the camera didn't just stop there. In the 1980s, analog electronic cameras were introduced. News organizations were among the first to adopt this technology, allowing journalists to quickly send images of important events, such as the Tiananmen Square protest and the First Gulf War, over telephone lines for prompt publication. Just a decade later, in the 1990s, Kodak introduced their digital camera system, but it was expensive at $13,000. However, as technology improved, digital cameras became more affordable, and by 2003, they were selling more than film cameras. Which leads us to today. Today, cameras come in many shapes and sizes, from high-end digital SLRs to smartphones with built-in cameras. The widespread availability of cameras has made photography more accessible and has changed the way we document and understand the world around us. But how exactly do we use photography to our benefit? Well, that's coming up next. But first, did you learn something new about the history of photography? If you did, share what you learned in the comment section down below. And if you've enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to leave a like and of course subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any more awesome content like this. The science of photography has greatly impacted how people across the world communicate and record events, historical or otherwise. Before photography, we were forced to rely on artistic interpretations of people and places, which may not have been completely accurate. Photography allows us to instantly see events as they happen and helps connect the world through global image sharing. 
Major events are widely known and remembered due to photography's ability to provide objective visual evidence of history, something that could not be said about the previous method of using art to record history. Photography also allows us to remember the past, even if the events or times are unfamiliar to us, and evokes feelings of nostalgia through tangible images. Through photography, we're able to truly witness time periods that have since come and gone, keeping their memory alive forever. However, photography is still useful on a smaller scale, especially when it comes to our personal life events like weddings or funerals. Speaking of weddings, wedding photography is now seen as a critical form of event photography that is a genuine way of capturing these special family moments. Some photographers have taken this genre to the artistic level, such as Sally Mann and Nicholas Nixon, who created meaningful and impactful projects for the family members. Mann's immediate family explored childhood themes and darker issues, while Nixon's The Brown Sisters showed a series of portraits of his wife and her sisters, taken over a period of 40 years. Both Mann's and Nixon's works have contributed to the history of photography through their intimate family portraits. So now, we've not only seen photography be useful for documenting important events, but its evolution into a personal art form as well. Photography has even found a way to integrate itself into our always moving forward world of tech, specifically within social media. Through photography and social media, we can stay connected with people from all over the world in just a matter of seconds. From tags to selfies, it's changed the way people share their personal life. With the rise of mobile photography and smartphones, people now have easier access to take photos and share them on social media. Eric Kessels did an art performance called 24 Hours in Photos in 2011. He filled an Amsterdam gallery with photos uploaded to Flickr within 24 hours, then covered the space with printed images. Kessels is known for collecting and recontextualizing absurdist found photos in a humorous way. This could be seen as a statement about the abundance of photos on the internet, or for how photography has changed due to advancements in technology. Do you think that being able to share mass amounts of photos with the world is a good thing or a bad thing? Share your thoughts in the comments, we're interested to see your opinions on this. Like we've stated above, photography can certainly be used to elicit certain emotions from us, just like any other form of art. Because of this, advertisers and businesses use this to their advantage by creating images that evoke specific feelings to sell products or connect with people. Just another way photography has changed the world around us, the advertising industry wasn't nearly as massive in the 19th century, prior to the camera's invention. So that's a bit about the history of photography and how we use it in our everyday lives. But what next? How will photography evolve as the years go by? Keep watching because we have some theories on this that you definitely don't want to miss out on. These are just a few of the things that we believe will be integrated into cameras in the near future. Artificial Intelligence Cameras are expected to become more intelligent, with built-in AI that can analyze scenes, identify subjects, and adjust settings to capture the best image. Think about it, AI has been taking over industry after industry. From art to writing to voiceover, who's to say that it won't find itself being made useful in the field of photography next? Improved image quality Advances in sensors, lenses, and software will continue to improve image quality and allow for more detailed and lifelike photos. This one is not far off at all. If you compare the camera quality in your smartphone to that of a 1980s Polaroid, the difference is like night and day. We can only assume the image quality will continue to grow with time. Increased functionality Cameras are likely to have more advanced features such as improved image stabilization, more advanced autofocus systems, and more intuitive user interfaces. You may be able to take professional, studio-quality photographs with just your smartphone in the next couple of years. How will this affect professional photographers and their industry? Well, only time will tell. Smaller and more portable Cameras are expected to become smaller and more lightweight, making it easier for users to carry them around and capture images on the go. We're already seeing instances of this made possible, especially with wearable tech like smart glasses having cameras built into them. Being able to take a picture is going to become increasingly easier. Virtual and Augmented Reality With the growing popularity of virtual and augmented reality technology, cameras will play an increasingly important role in creating immersive experiences. Those are just a few guesses, and we can't see which of those become reality. One thing is for certain, though. Photography is an ever-growing industry, and what we call cameras today may be completely unrecognizable in the future. We'll just have to wait and see.